What's up, everybody? Welcome to Live Fridays on Thursday. Again, shout out to Cruise Control Gear for the amazing shirt. Their link will be in the bio of this video. I couldn't be more excited to welcome in my Neurodorn. She is not only one of the best junior tennis players in the world, but in my opinion, she's one of the best ball striking players that I've seen in a very, very long time. Her coach, Travis Kern, is someone I went to college with, as well as he's a great friend to this day. Her mom was also a great player as well. So I'm gonna welcome her in here shortly, all the way from Thailand. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and we will try to get to them. Give me one second while I welcome her in here. One second. Hello, yeah. how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. How's things in Thailand? Uh, yes, very, very good. Very good. Now, what city are you in? Uh, in Pattaya right now. Okay. Okay. But like maybe like out ten minutes outside of town. Outside of town. Okay. Yeah. And I caught you before practice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Um, well, first, thanks for the time. I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, it's oh, funny yeah. because I was actually watching. Um, you on TV while you played the Australian Open. My wife and I yeah. were watching you and I was like, wow, you keep getting <laughs> better you. and better every time I'm, I'm able to see you play. So um, no, again, I really appreciate you jumping on with me. And the reason I'm doing this is twofold. One, I want to um, meet players from all over the world and coaches, but two, I really want to humanize people and show you know just how hard working they are and really give my followers an inside look at what they're doing so uh, okay. i'm gonna jump right into it with you if that's okay yeah yeah so the one thing i actually don't know can you tell me a little bit about how you actually got into tennis um well i i grew up in america and my mom was a tennis coach there so i would just watch watch her play all the time and i, I really wanted to play so after work, she would always come and like practice with me. Yeah. And, yeah. And did you, so did you know like, hey, I, I, I really love this sport. This is something I yeah. want to do long time. Or was it more kind of, was it a hobby of yours? Yeah. Um, like right when I played, I, I loved it. And I wanted to do like, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to be pro. So you, you knew from day one, you wanted to be pro. Yeah. And I w was watching like, uh, people on the TV and I was I would just watch tennis all day <laughs> you just watch tennis all day so what did yeah. you what did you really what did you like about tennis per se that led you to watch it all day um I don't know I was just interested in it <laughs> <laughs> you're just interested in it. did you have a favorite player or anything like that um yeah I was watching Wozniak I watch Wozniak a lot okay and what did you like about her um, well, her game style is like closer to mine. She would just run down every ball and I love that. So, <laughs> so she kind of became somewhat of your, your idol. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And in terms of, you know, looking at yourself and I know we're all somewhat kind of quarantined at the moment, but in terms of thinking about your tennis and where you want to go, I'm just trying to think about like, what are your, not only what are your goals, but what types of sacrifices had you, have you had to make in order to get to where you are? Again, I, I watched you play your, your great ball striking junior. So um, just curious what sacrifices you really made that helped you get here. Um, well, I had to move from Thailand to er, America to Thailand for, because okay. of sponsors and like seeing how they helped me, they helped me get like money to travel. Mm -hmm. to different tournaments so um and it's cheaper here in asia so i had to be <laughs> my family in america to, okay. to come to thailand so you're able so i hear you saying you're you're kind of able to have more access right um to yeah. things for training to facilities to yeah. uh sponsorships whatever it may be and, and that's yeah. also helped your game yeah great 
and then um you know the one thing as i think about your goals and i know we're again we're in a covid world here but as you think about your goals and where you want to go like well, ultimately where do you want to be um with tennis um well i want to i want to be pro like i want to make top 50 you want to make top 50 yeah um, in in your opinion like I wanted to make top fifty. Well, let me let me take a step back. I just wanted to. My whole goal was just to play a Grand Slam. Um, obviously, I never got there, but I've been able to stand on the sidelines and watch a few matches, which is pretty nice for me. But um, from your perspective, and you, being as young as you are, what what do you think it takes to get there? Um. Well, I'm working hard, so mm -hmm. I'm, and you know, I'm training every day and. I, I'm just trying to get there, like when I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, so you're you're in the last year of your juniors, correct? Yeah. So once the world comes back online, hopefully sooner than later, you will start to play uh, some professional tournaments, correct? Yeah, yeah. What do you look forward to in terms of uh, the pro tour being back and you being able to travel again? Like, what's your what are you excited about? I'm just excited to compete. I love playing tournaments and uh, I love being on court and just giving it my all. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I mean, I think the biggest thing and what I see in you is the fact that you really like the sport or you love the sport. And yeah. I think, to be honest, like if you love what you're doing, that's going to propel you further in life, right? But if it's more of like a job, it's going to be a lot harder for you to to want to stay with it. Um, and I think when you love it, that's what gets you through the tough times. So I'm glad to hear that, you know, you yeah. love the game so much as you do and, and you're going to keep progressing as you go forward. Yeah. It's really now, go ahead. I want to enjoy what I do. <laughs> yeah. That's life. I mean, life happens so fast, right? So you should enjoy what you do. And speaking of enjoying what you do, you know, having, you know, Travis and your mom kind of there along the way with you, how has that been for you, you know, having a coach every day and, and having, you know, your mom who who played such a high level be there to, to guide you along? Uh, it's really good because, like, they, they're experienced, so they know, like, what it takes and stuff, and they can guide me to there. <laughs> yeah. But isn't it hard to kind of listen to them sometimes every now and then? You're like, ah, oh, they don't I mean, know what they're talking yeah, about, right? Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course, but, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I just think, like, if you could name one thing, what's what's a little bit of advice that they've given you um, to just keep pushing forward? Um, they, just, they just keep encouraging me to follow my dream. Like, every day they, they encourage me to work hard and get there. Yeah. And also, too, you have a brother as well, right? Correct? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> and what advice would he give you? Because I know he's a pretty good player himself. Um, I mean, <laughs> my, my bro I that's a tough question, him, right? Yeah, it's like, you know, like the sibling rivalry. And I practice with him. So, like, we always push each other. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> we're very competitive. I'm trying to, so I'm thinking back, this was a few weeks back, but I actually saw the video of you guys running sprints. Maybe it was a month ago or something. Um, and even Travis himself was running sprints and I saw your mom with the camera and she was yeah. pushing you guys on. She's so. recording everything. She's recording this right now. <laughs> oh, is she really? Don't you worry. Can I can her send in the shadow. replay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. But, you know, one thing I will say is it's, it's really, you're lucky to have people around you who care so much about you. And they want to see you. Um, they want to see you excel. They want to see you do good. And I would always recommend like not taking that for you know taking that for granted because it's not always there. So it is lucky. I know there are a lot of pro players who wish they had you know parents and coaches and, and things like that who could be with them for a lifetime and they're not there. So you're lucky to have that. Even your little brother, even your brother, when he you know gets on your nerves sometimes too, yeah. <laughs> which is which is I'm sure that happens. It happens to us all. Um, a couple more questions for you. So you're you're obviously you're gonna go. You're turning pro, correct? And you're yeah. not you're not pursuing like the the college route, like the the states well, and playing I'm, in college. 
I'll try pro for one year and see okay. how that goes. If like if it does if it doesn't go so well, I'll go to college. Yeah, and I and I think the one thing about that is either way, um, you can still you know go back to the tour. I mean, I know a lot of players who went to college for a year or so and really developed some other you know a stronger mentality for the game, and then they were able to jump back on the tour. Um, and, and have, you know, very successful careers even to this day. So, I mean, I think that's, it's always a consideration, but it seems like you have a very good, a very good plan and um, a lot of positive things to come for you specifically. Yeah. So on a little bit of a lighter note, the one thing I always like to do is I always like to ask a question that may trip you up a little bit. And the question I have for you is what is one thing that no one knows about you either as a player as a person like what's one um, thing that you know you would give someone the inside look at your life uh, <laughs> that's a tough question right i have to think because <laughs> my mom posts everything on social media so so, so then everything <laughs> everything is an open book then huh <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> All right, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'll let you think about that one, and then I'll finish with this. So, in terms of you know, say you have a, a ten or twelve year old player coming up, and you know, given as good as you are, there are people who look up to you. What advice would you give someone who's younger than you or and older than you about how do you how do you get to the top and how do you be one of the best you know juniors in the world? Um. Well. I'm just I'm just trying to follow my dream, and if they have a dream, I, I just I'm, they should just follow it. Mm -hmm. And in so, terms of you, yeah, and elaborate on that a little bit. Like, you know, it, it is your dream, but a lot of times, like, you, our dreams are crushed, right? So even yeah. through ups and downs, through setbacks, I call it my favorite quote: "A setup, a setback's a setup for a comeback." So even through the tough times, you still see this as being your long-term, what you want to do with your life. I mean, um, you don't know until you try it. So mm -hmm. I, I'm just, I want to be pro, so I'm, I'm going to give it my all. <laughs> give you all. Yeah, and I think that's a big thing you said is you don't know it until you try it. And the only way to figure out if it's for you is to do it. And I mean, I think you learn by trial and error. And, that's where it's sometimes it's hard to listen to your parents or listen to people you know, because sometimes yeah. you just have to get out there and learn it for yourself. I mean, there's things I've done in my life that, you know, my parents were probably like, ah, you shouldn't do that, right? But at the same time, I had to learn from myself. And I think you just having that trial and error and being able to, hey, I tried this, it didn't work. I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna do something else. I mean, having yeah. that flexibility for you as a player and as a person, I think will go well or go well for you as you move through not only your tennis, but, but your life. Yeah. All right. Last thing. I know I said that a couple of times, but the one thing I, I want to know is like, what do you do? Like, what do you do prior to a match? Like, what's your, what's your pregame ritual? Everybody wants to know. What do you do? I, I listen to music and like I do my warm up stretches and stuff, and then like I I need a moment to like sit down and call myself and like just relax before my match, and then once they call my name, I'll I'll go in. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny. It's funny you said that. Um, I'm curious to know what music. That's something I don't personally know. I know Travis very well, and he was the one guy who always had rap music playing in college. So I'm curious to know: Have you adapted that? You know, um, R&B rap, or are you more like, hey, do you have something different? <laughs> I always listen to Ariana Grande. <laughs> oh, I never heard yeah, of Yeah, that's like... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and like, uh, since like last year, I think, yeah, I listen to her before every single match. Okay. Every single match. Yeah. Win or lose, that's who you're listening to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. 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 Well, that was all of the questions I had for you. Short and sweet. I know you have to get to practice, but one thing is, I just want to say one, thank you for doing this. 
I appreciate, you know, talking to you over live. And more importantly, I look forward to seeing you develop as a player, as a person. And truly, I know you're going to be successful. You have the right people around you. You're working hard. And I look forward to watching you at the mini Grand Slams to come. Thank you. All right. You have a good day. Tell your mom you. You and too. Travis, tell everyone I said hello. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank All you. All right. Bye. <laughs>